great circus game for a circus party is Tin Can Alley. You stack all your tin cans up and you knock them over with a ball. I'm going to show you how to do that and create your own tin can game. <clears throat> this is actually some old PVC piping. You can get it from any hardware store. It's actually nine centimetres across this one. And we've cut it into six equal pieces so that we have three on the bottom, two and then one on, one on the very top so that it can be like a pyramid when you knock them over with a ball. Just using some ordinary, um, just an ordinary file, I've just filed down all the edges just so they're not sharp or rough. And then getting some paint that adheres to uh, plastic. I've just painted all of my cans different colours and then I've got some paper stars which I previously cut out and glued on with some different coloured ribbons just to make the different patterns. So <clears throat> painting on our colour, this is the last one I've got to do in my set. And I've just put, for me, I've already cleaned these by the way. I also gave them a bit of a bit of a clean with um, Jiffy or just a little natural uh, powder abrasive cleanser just so that they're all nice and smooth and clean and there were no sort of marks from the department store, which sorry, from the hardware store, which can happen. And then I've just painted my uh, colour on and then we'll let that dry and we'll decorate it. I'll show you when I'm finished painting. Okay, so we now have painted our purple cylinder and just to speed things up, I actually uh, got the hairdryer on it so that it would quickly dry it out. Next, we wanna decorate it. You can decorate it any way you want. I'm just using some wide ribbon and a paper star, which I just drew on the computer and printed out in color. So I'm also using some Mod Podge, which is great because it kind of gives a seal on uh, sort of a protective seal on there as well. So I'm using the glue to actually seal and stick. So just getting my star, putting my star on, using my Mod Podge glue, which I think is awesome stuff. I just work out if there's any particular way I want it to face. I think we'll make it face, how about there? And we just put the star the same as the others, crossways and up, and that's on there. Then I actually did the same with the glue on the ribbon. And I just did, I cut the ribbon a little bit longer so that it will overlap when we get to the uh, other end. So we're just, I did a ribbon for the top and the bottom and that just matches the style of the other ones that I've done as well. So I'm just putting the Mod Podge glue on as glue at the moment. And I say as glue. And I want it to meet at the back of the star because obviously I don't want it to, um, don't want it in the front. I did that on one of them and it doesn't look very nice. Looks a bit better if it's right at the back. Which I can probably move that star down a little bit. And then it just overlaps at the back a bit. Just make that sit better. Slide it up. And that just gives it a bit more of a tidy end. And just tuck that under. Any loose, loose frayed bits. And I'll modge podge over the top of that in a minute. So that's one bit. Look upside down. And we do the same for the second ribbon. Again, making sure that we're meeting up at the back. So there we go. We'll just go right round. Don't do anything like that. I'll just wipe that off. Just a little, just watch. There's a little bit of paint that isn't quite dry there. And there we have it. And then I would actually just modge podge the whole lot, the rest of the container. Voila.